Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel. I'm here today to try some new products from Revolution and I'm very excited because I really love that brand but some of the products are hit and some are miss in my opinion. Some don't work really like I would like to, them to but I have a lot of them. I won't try them all of, of today because I have different primers. I have this uh, Onyx, Unix primer, I have this pore primer and I have new foundations too. So I won't use primers today because I want to see how this foundation works on the primers that I'm already using, that I love, that I know are working for me. If I use these primers and the new foundation, I won't be able to tell which one worked and which one did not work. So that is why. I have also the new concealers, I have also some different powders but i won't use these i will try these today for the same reason and uh, yeah so if you're interested to see how these products are going to work for me today and how easy they are to apply then please keep on watching okay so i already primed my skin moisturized and primed and i use this hourglass veal primer and also this revolution pro, pro pore primer i always think i'm done with this one but for some reason i can squeeze always a little bit more and they have a little bit of product stuck here so i'm kind of squeezing it i love this product and i know it's it's working and this one too i'm almost done i'm down here i know how these work i'm safe using them i know they are perfect for my skin and that is why I have them as a base for my foundation and today I'm going to try the new matte base pore blurring full coverage foundation now I do have pore, bl 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 <laughs> pore blurring primer but that doesn't always take away all of the my all of my deep huge pores so I'm very interesting I have two shades I have sub number seven and number eight there is a R on the packaging here I have these two shades in other Revolution, Revolution uh, foundations and these two work good for me. Now I, do, I did buy these and I thought and I hope it will be the same kind of shade as the other foundations from Revolution. I hope I'm right but we'll see. I will try with number... I will start... It's not my day today. I will start with number 7 to swatch it and number 8 and see which one of these uh, if you have nails you can't do anything with them okay let's swatch, swatch both of them and see okay there's 52 they sealed everything so let's see number seven and number eight I think I'm going to go in with number eight. On one side I'm going to use brush and on the other side I'm going to use the beauty blender to see which one is going to work better. I don't know how much to use so we are going to go in with small amount and then build it up if we need the coverage. I love matte foundations. It's going on nice with the brush. It feels, it looks very thick, but it goes on, um, it goes on nice. I don't know. It dries down very fast. It goes on beautifully with the brush won't complain it's not ex actually full coverage because i can see my redness and uh, breakouts peeking through but we'll uh, we'll see how it's going on with the beauty blender I really like Revolution foundations. I have almost all of them except the 
one that it's like a drop of foundation and that is supposed to give you a very light natural coverage and I don't like natural light coverage so that is why I never bought but all of the other I think there are five different sh foundations so all of the other four I have I really really like uh, three I don't know about this one If I like this one, it will be the fourth foundation I really like from Revolution. I'm using them all the time. I really like that foundation. So it goes on nice with the Beauty Blender 2. I just think it's better to use a brush. So I'm going on again with another layer. And it feels like you don't get a lot of foundation in this. 28 milliliters. So we are going on with the brush and then we'll go over with the sponge to kind of seal the deal. So it doesn't look cakey, it covered, you, it's easy to build up, it doesn't look heavy either, it doesn't feel heavy, but the foundation itself is very moussey, so it gives you an illusion when you just apply it on your hand that it's going to be heavy and um, very cakey foundation, but it's really not, it goes on very very nice on the skin and looks very, I mean, uh, um, I like it. Yes, it blurred my pores a little bit. It's not matte matte. It's more like satin finish, which I really like. I like it. I can't feel it on my skin. And that, this is why I always only try the foundation today, not the primers, because if I use the primers, I won't be able to tell if the foundation is good or not. That's just my opinion. I kind of like this shade. I think I'm going to give number seven to my sister. She really wants to try these foundations. So I'm going to her place today and I'm going to give her number seven. I just watched it, didn't use it. It's hers. Okay, uh, it's itching. My nose is itching. Let's see. I like it. I like it. I hope this, this will stay on the whole day. But let's go with the um, concealers. Okay, the concealers on another story. Let me just say that I don't really like these kind of concealers. And it's because um, they look cakey. They look heavy and they look cakey. But they will be good to maybe use as a contour and a bronzer. That is why I have different shades. I have number six and I bought it because I, my other... Revolution primer, not primer, concealers are in 11, 6, number 6 and 7. I have these two in 6 and 7. So I will swatch them next to each other to see if it's the same shade. So let's swatch number 6. We get this much product. It's... How much product do you get in here? 8 grams. So let's swatch number 8. No, this is six. Why do I say eight when it's not eight, it's six? Let's see this one next to it. Oh, they are actually not the same shade at all. This was is more pink undertone. Let's see number seven. Number seven looks more true to its color. Okay, so this is number pink in stick concealer. This is in creamy concealer. This is number seven in stick concealer, and this is number seven in cream concealer. The creamy concealers are a little bit lighter, lighter than this, but I don't know if this one, number six is going to work under my eyes. I really don't know. It looks too pink. That looks too pink. I think, I'll maybe mix both of them. Let's go in with number six. And I know, how should I apply this? I'll apply this just 
right under my eyes. And I think I'm going to use maybe my beauty blender. Hmm. I don't know. And I'm going in with number seven. Oh, I'm scared that it's going to look heavy. So I won't apply a lot. Mm. I don't know how I feel about applying that with the sponge. I'm going to highlight. And I'm actually going to mix number seven and six. And I'm going to mix it, blend it with the brush. I prefer the brush for these. Okay, they look a little bit heavy. They blend nice, but they do look a little bit heavy. So I wouldn't use them as a concealer. Yes, it kind of start moving my foundation on my nose. I won't use them as um, concealer to under my eyes, but definitely maybe to contour with. So I'm going to go in with the num with shade number fourteen to maybe contour a little bit. I know I don't want to use too much. blending very nice I think I like this shade for contour and I'm going to use number 12 for bronzing to bronze my face they're blending very nice so for this it's perfect, but not really for the under eye area. Maybe also to cover the blemishes on the skin. Um, but for the under eyes, I wouldn't recommend it. I think this worked. I like it. I really like it. Let's take number seven and just try to cover the blemish here. I have. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, let's just highlight it. Let's just see if we, we can make it more visible. My lips are so dry. Yeah, for concealing, start crease a little bit on my eyes. So let's set this. Okay, I like this. Um, I like this, but not for under eyes. I do like it to contour and bronze my skin. I think it looks great. But I also have number eight and uh, now number eight and number 12. And number one I bought these to use as a bronzer or to bright out bright my under eyes and that is why I bought these shades let's swatch these I think they have some coverage this is number eight is the same number as my foundation but it looks darker maybe it's not uh, yeah, it has definitely some coverage. I don't know if you can see. This is this is darker than the foundation. And let's see number 12. I want to use number 12 as a bronzer. They look very similar. And number 1, P1. And I bought that to bright my underwear. Very light and nice. Oh, I like that one. Okay. So well, let's take a brush, 
did start creasing. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but I will definitely not use it on, for my other eye. Let's go in with number powder number one. I don't know if this is going to give me some flashback, but I hope not. And I'm going to set. I forgot to contour my nose. I'm you I like to bake, so I'm kind of hoping, hoping this will hold my foundation in place and oiliness. Okay, so I'm going to go in back in this creamy, no, this number 12 creamy, no, this is too warm, this one, number 14, to contour my nose, and I'm going to use a brush, is there any clean brush, I need to wash my brushes, there is not a clean brush, so I'm going to take a brush, and go maybe like this, We'll see. I don't like how this cream contour stick looks on on my eyes and on my nose. But the foundation looks really, really nice. And it looks very nice everywhere else, but it's not for the under eyes area where you have big pores. Stay away from that. Okay, I think this is good. So let's try this first and see if we can uh, bronze a little bit. And then I'm going to go into number 12, this deeper shade, to bronze a little bit more, warm up my face. These powders have neutral undertones, that is why I bought them. It's very easy to build up, it's giving me a nice, even bronzy look. So if you're looking for a matte bronzer, I think you will like this one. And it's a very nice price. I like it. I like it. I'm very happy how this looks. Okay. Good. Yeah, I think that was everything here that I'm going to try right now. I'm going to finish my makeup look and I'll be back. So right now it's 20 past 12 and uh, see you soon. So guys, I'm back. Now I already finished my makeup. And uh, let me just say, I love these, Th all three of them. I really, really love these uh, to set and bright my skin. I mean, I like it. I like the foundation right now. It doesn't feel heavy on my skin. It has a nice coverage. It looks also very skin-like. Uh, for me, it doesn't look cakey. I've seen a couple of reviews. Some people think you can see that you have foundation on. It doesn't look cakey, but... You can see, still see it. I think it looks very natural on my skin. I don't know. It did blur my pores a little bit. Not not as much as... I don't know. It's, it didn't... I think that... Together with this pore minimizing primer, it's making my pores look much less visible. On my eyes, I have this Kaylee uh, palette. And also, I have... This shade in my crease, number eight, and all over my eyelid, I have one of my favorite uh, Prism Metal from J J Prism Metal Mousse Eye Mousse from uh, J Cat, and it's Chrome Galaxy. I have a Kicks lipstick on. It's number six, Cream uh, Dream, and I have a new lip gloss from Daisy Kate from this brand. Uh, those of colors. I haven't tried anything from those of colors before. And this is something I heard Raw Christy Beauty 
raving about this lip gloss. This is over the top. And I'm going to try it on the lipstick. Oh wow, so beautiful. It was out of stock every time I wanted to buy it. And it came to Beauty Bay a couple of weeks ago and I immediately ordered it. Mmm, smells nice. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. I like this slip gloss. Kind of matches my eyes. But okay, that wasn't the show, star of the show. Okay, let's uh, let's look everything before I go uh, for a couple of hours. Foundation looks very good. I do not like these under the eyes or on the nose. I won't go in there. To bright the skin on my forehead, it looks nice. On the chin, it looks nice. I love it for contouring and for cream bronzer. Bronzer, I love it. I will definitely recommend you to try it as that. Definitely going. To, I don't usually do creamy con uh, contour bronzer, but right now I'm in love how this looks, and I'm definitely going to play with it more because I really, really like how it looks right now on the skin. Foundation I love. Number seven I will give it to my sister because number eight I think looks good for me. Um, these I will continue playing with. These I love. I love these powders. These are my, oh my god, these are beautiful. I did set my face with it and I also set my bronzer and also uh, I put kind of this everywhere else on the skin just to set it. I'll see how it's going to keep my makeup in place. But right now I do have the base that I really, really like. So I do have primers that I really trust and know are working for me. So I'm going to see how this foundation and everything else is going to um, keep up during the day or keep working for me right now I don't feel that I have makeup on really like how my skin looks it looks very fresh I also have the revolution the mascara on if you like clump your eyelashes you're going to love this I like it a lot uh, yes guys that were is everything for now oh, I forgot to tell you I have this blush hyper fab on my skin today and oh I forgot the highlighter wait I can't go without a highlighter am I crazy I'm going in with this Pract liquid highlighter that I love. I'm obsessed with this highlighter. And I was always scared to use liquid highlighter on my face after powdering it. But right now, this works good. If you work it fast, you're going to like it. Going fast, blend it, blend it fast. And it looks nice. So my foundation is still on. This didn't remove my foundation. That's good. It doesn't remove any other foundation and it's working for this now too. I hate my how my nose looks cakey here because of this cream stick, but everything else looks good. Okay, okay, I'll go. It's 12.50 12 and almost one o'clock and I'll go away soon and right now I really like how my makeup looks and yeah I see you in a couple of hours oh my god my hair looks like a disaster okay guys I'm back wait just need to fix my hair it's very windy outside it's very cold it's raining like never before and it's raining like never before I'm hating it hate that weather Okay, I've been having this makeup on for around seven hours. It's 19.24. And uh, let me tell you what I think. Let's start with the foundation. Love it. My mom couldn't stop, couldn't stop telling me how wonderful my face looked and how natural it looked look like I didn't have any makeup on and she preferred this foundation over any foundation ever. I feel like I have hair here all day. I can't find it. Uh, and she loved it. So I love it too. I mean, I didn't touch up. I do look a little bit shiny, but that, I don't look greasy. I just have that natural glow. Uh, it did wear off just a little bit here on my chin and on my nose, but on my nose it did fit out because I was touching my nose I felt like I have a hair on it and it was itching me and I couldn't find anything 
yeah, so I did remove some of my foundation over there and I ate dinner. So that is where I have my felishko. But everything else looks beautiful. I wouldn't lie, use these concealers for under eyes. I just didn't crease. But I just don't think... I mean, it's not terrible, so try it. But I won't do it because I like it more more full coverage but liquidy like liquidy concealers i feel like if i would put and go hard with this one under my eyes to really have that coverage that i want it would be look cake it doesn't look cakey right now so maybe i don't know i'll try it again but i'm not really sure though i love these for contour and bronzing i mean everything looks beautiful and i really really like how my skin makeup face makeup looks I love this. I love this. I want more shades. I love these. Please come out with blushes. Blushes. I need blushes with this formula because I love these. I think it set my makeup beautifully. It didn't make me look cakey and it didn't make my foundation look heavy. Uh, also, my under eyes don't look dry. My nose looks cakey, but it, that's because of the concealer. Uh, maybe if I would warm it, warm it up a little bit on my skin, I don't know. I gave the two lighter shades to my sister and the foundation number seven I gave to my sister because I think the number eight is perfect, is perfect for me. So, uh, to tell you my full thoughts, I'm very happy with this collection. I think it's wonderful. I think it's worth money. It's not expensive. I love revolu makeup revolutions, foundations. I love it. I only, I just, I bought all of them. I love all of them. They work perfectly. I just don't like the droppy one, but I didn't bought it because it's a light coverage. I don't like light, light coverage foundations. But these that I bought that I'm using, I really, really like them. Really like them. And yeah, I mean, uh, perfect. Love it. Gives me everything I need. I need that. Here, where are you? Am I blind or something? I can feel it, but I can't see it. Everything worked perfectly. I am very happy with this makeup. I do have more powders to try. I have these blotting powders or setting powders or bake and blot powders in different shades. I have these to try. I have more primers to try, so I have more makeup to try for Makeup Revolution and other brands. Can't wait to try them. But right now, these beautiful. I love these for contour and bronzing. So guys, that was everything. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. I love you all and see you in my next video. Bye.